Captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. There are a few that you do not like, Captain. Prepare to energize. Thank you. That shall you see in the uh, corner that uh, that is the real star hit patch. Are you all right, Captain? I'm definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. So, yeah. <sighs> Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I... I think you need to see for yourself. Tomorrow's simple solar flare yeah. should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of your vessel's malfunction? It did not malfunction. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were yeah. operated from right. a base you, located you on a nearby that. planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. So it is true. Spock, as you know, after the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard of him. Sirach is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Uh, sorry? Why would Sirach shut down power to your station? Yeah. He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly? This just keeps getting better. Yeah, we need so to get to the bridge. 
I think I can scan something here to find extra, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go through the whole uh, campaign and uh, maybe find it later. Check off, tell me something. It is highly unusual, sir, but I believe it's some kind of rip in the actual fabric of space. Like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. It appears to be a shortcut through space. Where does it lead? There is no way to know for sure, Commander. I believe that rip is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Uhura, hail new Vulcan. Aye, Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans indicate the reap is contracting. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hails. Mr. Sulu, bring us in range of New Vulcan. We're going down there. Yeah, uh, right. We are going to go to New Vulcan. After uh, you I see must request permission to join you, Captain. Spark, are you sure that's within protocol? I mean, maybe we should just send Scotty and some recruits. Captain, I hope the importance of New Vulcan is not lost on you. Our people cannot afford another tragedy. This planet is the best hope for our race to prosper. Noted. Then you should also note that having a Vulcan as a member of your away team would be essential to the success of this mission. And I am the only one on this ship that has ever been on the surface of New Vulcan or has experience with the Helios all machine. All right, all right, all right. Great. Yeah, right. Now there's two of you guys driving me nuts. And now we're going to go to the transport room. Oh. Transport ready, Captain. My phaser, Mr. Scott. I mean, I mean, I've put some wee modifications on it just like you asked, but I've been working on some other options too. I've got phase cannons, photon disruptors, and wait till I show you these plasma rifles. Still working out a few things. My phaser will do, Mr. Scott. I guess you don't want to hear about the stasis grenades, then. Nasty little buggers. But if you want your phaser, here's your phaser. Energize. Further out, and I'd be back in Iowa, Mr. Scott. Sorry, sir. Too yeah, much interference. Okay. I had to drop you outside. Kind of quiet around here. Is that normal tomorrow? Uh, not yet. Negative, Captain. For some reason, the highest security protocols have been enabled on this door. Can we hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work together to beat the encryption. Captain, the system seemed to have been purposely shut down. I can provide assistance. Tamar, can you operate all the systems from here? Yes, I helped to build and design... Captain, if you are implying that I should stay behind... Tamar, we may need your technical assistance should things get... Unfriendly? Unpredictable. But my father... When we find him, you'll be the first to know. I will remain in constant contact. Thank you. Captain, shall we proceed? After you. I believe we have a problem. Really? But you can't make that jump. Readings are inconclusive. Very comforting. Yeah, yeah. No, 
I scanned it, but uh, it's not going to do much. Let's get it. Let's get the gear. This looks interesting. Screen, so. See that? I did. Spare that individual's life. Me too. Let's keep it that way. Stun. I think he's been poisoned. Scans Stun show numerous toxins blood. in the adrenal glands and bloodstream. Right. Disturbed individual. Oh, yeah, we gotta more. take him out, but remember, stun only. I would not have it any other way. Yeah, stun only. Is someone there? Yeah. This door is locked tight. We need a code. A mind meld may be our only chance to find out what has happened. Are you sure you want to touch that guy? A mind meld is our only option. Right. It is. Indeed. Anything? I have never encountered this before. His mind has been corrected. Also, I now know the code to that door. Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Aye, sir. Everything all right? Yeah, just some Vulcan problems. So, the usual. Transport away. Captain, I am yeah, detecting but, uh, several Vulcans behind this door, but their readings are erratic. May I suggest setting our phasers to stun? After all, they are Vulcans. I see you! I am being forced to hurt you! Stop me before others must be the cure! Ah. Yeah, right. Let's find the Ciroc guy and get the hell out of here. Savensu. Spock. Sirak, I am relieved to see you unharmed. This is my commanding officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirak. Pleasure. And Tamar? I am here, Father. Tamar, I am pleased to hear your voice. Now, what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerged from the rip not long after it appeared. What creatures? We have only been able to decipher that they call themselves the Gorn. Spock, we cannot allow the power of the Helios machine to fall into their hands. It would be catastrophic. How would they be after the machine? They could use it to create rips anywhere in the universe. They would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's deepest labs. I have secured all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? I can open the fire door that leads further into the labs. 
After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Yeah. But Your guidance is all we ask. Sorok? Then I advise caution. There are likely to be more infected Vulcans up ahead. Got it. How long? Oh, what? Force it open. Your success is unlikely. The structure of this door is designed for containment. It may be possible to restore power using a yeah. spare power cell. I will mark the location of the power cells yeah, on your tricorders. This power cell inside the. It's enabling the door to open. Uh, right. If we move quietly and maintain infected. a low profile, we should avoid detection. Captain. If you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood. Yeah. Keep hiding! Your survival depends on it! them see you. Keep hiding. Your survival depends on it. Yeah, I got it. So that guy and take him out before he notices? Most certainly, our st Oh, come on. Leave now! It's your... Oh. I hope you have escaped. There we go. We got Dr. It. McCoy, have you been able to ascertain the nature of the Vulcan's infection? There seems to be high toxin levels. Origins unknown, but we'll continue to investigate. Bones? It's breaking, it's breaking up. Lost them. It appears oh, we are now completely on our own. Right, so... Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I... I think I'm going to leave it dead there and continue next time. So, bye-bye.